Welcome everybody, I'm back. It's Suzanne Lyons here for my video uh, vlogs. And uh, we are on tip number 10 in this series called Networking and Creating Relationships in the Entertainment Industry. Love this one, love this one, love this one. All about networking for me, I absolutely love it. In this industry, to me, it's about getting your numbers up in creating relationships. Uh, so this is a big one. I've given you nine tips so far. I know you've been out there doing your homework. Thank you, bless you for doing that. And uh, today, I know we've been mostly stressing, you know, getting those numbers up, widening that map of relationships, doubling that map of relationship, that visual display, tripling that visual display. But today, on this last tip, what I want to stress is probably the most important. All of it is kind of useless if you don't get this distinction today. And this is creating authentic relationships. Okay, authentic, real relationships in the entertainment industry. And what I've done is I have invited a dear friend of mine, Chris Wyatt, uh, who has uh, produced seven, <laughs> uh, seven independent features. Uh, you may know him from one of his earlier features, um, Napoleon Dynamite. I thank you so much for coming. Absolutely. I am absolutely thrilled because Chris, so much of the time what happens in this industry, it's kind of, oh wow, Chris, you're a producer. I'm an actor. Here's my headshot. Oh, I'm a composer. Would you listen to my reel? You know, we so come at people with such an agenda all the time. How do we get away from that? How do we create, a, you know, authentic relationships like the rest of the world has, like businesses around the world? Uh, yeah, I, I do agree it's a problem. I mean, I think that people think of networking as uh, what can you do for me? And uh, it's really off-putting, I mean, to meet someone who just hands you a headshot, hands you a script, hands you a business card and, and says, oh, you know, I'd love for you to do this for me. Or I'd love for you to do that. And it's like, I don't know you. Like, what if I don't like you? Um, you know, I, it, you know, it's, I think a lot of times, it, particularly with scripts, mm. people think, oh, well, you know, it's just a quick read of a script. Right. But it's like when you get 100 scripts a month, it's not a quick read. It's like another script from someone I don't know, you know, and uh, so how do you get around that is you uh, you actually connect with people like a human being connects with another human being. I mean, yeah. you um, if it's someone you want to meet because you like their work, you probably have something in common with them. I mean, if you know that they created the work you like and you like that work then you must have similar interests and you can start talking about similar interests and connect with them on a human level um, I mean I, particularly if uh, at industry events everybody's in the industry so you're going to share common experiences you're going to have seen the same movies you're going to have seen the same shows and it, it's easy to build on those common interests um, you know, and uh, if you are targeting a specific person you want to meet, learn about that person. Read the interviews that person is given. And, um, you know, uh, there's nothing, I think, more impressive than doing your research. And uh, you might have a lot in common with that person. If it's just, if it, you know, you aren't targeting a specific person that you want to meet, you just are at a party and you'd like to meet people, then talk about your interests. Talk about who you are, where you're from, meet people. Uh, and don't worry about what those people are going to do for you. Right. Just start meeting people. And, um, you know, after that you can evaluate how you can be useful to them and how they can be useful to you and how mm -hmm. the two of you can mutually uh, benefit from a relationship as mm -hmm. opposed to, you know, how you can benefit from them. Exactly. Yeah, making it mutual is, is yeah. super helpful. Yeah. Wow, that's perfect. I mean, it's just so refreshing. I mean, so, so, so refreshing to talk about your passions, your love, your favorite movies, your hobbies, you know. I mean, what a what a difference that would be. You would actually stand out at a party if you did that as opposed to talking about, do you want to hear about my screenplay? Yeah. You know, you'd stand out. You'd be, I mean, memorable. It, that For that, nothing, but that alone is unbelievable. Yeah. You know? So guess what your homework's going to be for the weekend. I know I'm going to see you next Tuesday, uh, and we'll do the review of tips 1 through 10. But the homework this weekend is you're not allowed to talk about your career. No acting, no makeup artist, no writing, whatever it is you do, give it up. Okay? What's today? Thursday. So give it up Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I'll see you again on Tuesday as we do the review and go over the 10 tips. But for the next four days, you get to talk about your joy, your loves, your passion, uh, your hobbies, your causes, all that kinds of stuff. No agenda for four days. I know you're crying. I can actually see you. You're crying. Yes, you are. Yes. 
get over it, guys. This is the homework for the weekend. Chris, do you agree with me on this? Absolutely. Okay. He said it, all right? He's telling you the same thing. So that's the homework. Give up the agenda and just have fun. For the love of God, this is a big giant sandbox we're in. We're here to play. We're here to provide entertainment to the, you know, to the world. For God, we're in the entertainment industry. Hello, have fun, okay? So that's it for the weekend. Just get out there and share your joy, your passions, your love, all of that stuff. No agenda. I'll see you on Tuesday when we do the quick review. Once again, Suzanne Lyons here for the 10 Tips series. And thank you for joining me. Have a great weekend.